And now, ladies and gentlemen, making his way to the ring, please welcome the Olympic gold medalist from Harlesden, London, introducing James DeGale. again on James DeGale MBE and he will lap it up. More people to love or hate me, he quit when he said he'll uh, perform in front of this big audience in Manchester. He was hoping for the homecoming in London but a three week delay means we're here. The gold is bold. He told us we'd like the t-shirts. All right, fans, here we go from Manchester's MEN Arena, live and exclusive on Sky Box Office. Frank Warren presents an international super middleweight contest scheduled for three minute rounds of boxing. Introducing to you first on my left, fighting out of the red corner, wearing white trunks with green trim. He weighed in at 11 stone, nine pounds and four ounces. A veteran of 21 professional bouts, his record is even up with 10 wins, 10 losses and one draw with two wins coming by way of knockout from Belfast, Northern Ireland. Please welcome Kieran Healy. And his opponent across the ring on my right, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing gold trunks with black trim. He weighed in at 11 stone, 11 pounds. Following his brilliant amateur career, his professional record stands at two wins, no losses, one win coming by way of knockout. In Beijing, he was the only British boxer to return home with a coveted gold medal. Here he is, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the 2008 Olympic gold medalist from Harlesden, London, introducing the undefeated golden boy, James DeGale. And our referee in charge now to give instructions from Preston Phil Edwards. Okay, gentlemen, you follow my instructions. When I tell you to break, break clearly and take a step back. Watch those heads in close. Touch gloves, good luck. Excellent reception this time for the middleweight gold medalist from the 2008 Games. He says he'll be the British 11 stone six champion by the end of next year and a world champion Second by the time Round of the one. next Olympics, London 2012. He's got the belief and the attitude and in with the former Irish light middleweight champion, the experienced Kieran Healy. Tonight, outing number three for De Gale. And this is a good choice of opponent because uh, Healy likes to have a tear up. He'll give it a go, he won't spoil, he won't try to survive. And De Gale getting quality into the punches straight away. A cute left hook from De Gale. Hey, keep working there. He's turned orthodox. The slick southpaw from Holston. Trying to really put power into some of these blows early. Has been stopped a few times, Healy. He digs in and is rugged and tough. There's a lovely right, though. Good punch picking from De Gale and a body shot. Yeah, he's getting leverage into the punches. Especially that right hook. That was a corker. Seeking out the uppercuts. James DeGale, who's had excellent sparring with the likes of Tony Ballou and Anthony Small. That's a good left hook uh, from the South Post stance there. He was a little bit shaken by that one. Put him back in his heels. Bemused here, Healy. And DeGale using the speed and planting his feet. 
break. Well, I said that uh, Healy wasn't guilty of spoiling and holding, but he had no choice there. He was badly hurt with those punches. The Gale picking them beautifully. Out to make a statement, James De Gale. Get your hands out, don't hold, don't hold. He's got hand speed, hasn't he, Jim? Yeah, I'm impressed with the leverage he's getting into the punches. But this guy, I love it. So he can set himself. Beautiful combination. Hands went down of Healy. And he's got to take refuge on the ropes. Cocky, but composed. And so confident, De Gale. Yeah, it's impressive the way he's digging these punches in. You know, getting the hips and shoulders into the, the movement there, going behind the elbow with the body shot. As you can see, Healy taking the deep breath as he backs off from that one. Good body shot to De Gale. Shots, everything, good repertoire, changed to orthodox a couple of times, which is not something I particularly like in, in fighters, but uh, put that to the side. That, that was quality, quality performance, okay, and a fight he was well expected to win. And Jim Kieran Healy has been stopped in three by Matthew Hall and Jamie Moore, but no one has done it this quickly. Now, nobody can take those body shots. I mean, tremendous. You can see him looking to his corner there, even he himself, who, and he's not a quitter. But he knew the end was in sight there. Those were thumping body shots, full leverage. I mean, you, you can see a difference from De Gale's work in his pro debut to his third fight here. Totally different fighter, hurtful shots, good leverage, good accuracy, and the towel coming in just on the sound of the bell. I mean, he knew at this stage it was over. Healy is not really a survivor. He likes to give it a go, but he had nowhere to go. Couldn't get away from the punches. Time to get him out of there. Saunders and Gavin in two. De Gale in one tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this bout has been stopped at the end of round number one. The boxer in no condition to continue. So says our referee, Phil Edwards. The winner by way of TKO, he is still undefeated. James Golden Chunky DeGale. Glenn McCrory, you, you sense that DeGale was feeling the pressure in the dressing room before he came out, but he didn't look under pressure there no, at all, did he? I think he's got more pressure on him than any of the others, and I, I think it showed before he went in, but I'm really, really pleased for him. He took a little bit of stick, you know, from criticism early on his first fight. Now he's really developing well, and that was very good. The improvement was massive from his first fight to his third. There was a massive gulf, wasn't there, in, that, in yeah. the difference? I, and I, I thought it'd be a first-run knock, and that's no reflection on Kieran Healy. It's just I know what ability this man has, such power and speed. I think by that body language you enjoyed that, speaking of Ed Robinson. Well, James, third straight win. Did you even get out of first gear there? No, to be honest, no. Honestly, I've got plan A, plan B, plan C, and I've got another six more gears there. And that's on a serious note. Tell us how you've adapted your style to the pros now. I've adapted fantastic, you know what I'm saying? Obviously, I'm one of them people that I need to do it first, and once I've done it, I'm excellent after. Having my first professional fight, I didn't box too good, to be honest. I didn't give what the public wanted. But now, I'm doing it. Trust me. Next world champion, trust me. So what do you still need to work on before you can become, become a world champion? Uh, as I say, me and Jim just work in this imaginary circle, just standing out. Instead of hitting them and jumping back out, we're using all different techniques with poles to turn my hips and turn my feet. Everything's coming on beautiful. Trust me, beautiful. Frank Warren, how much confidence do you have in this young man? Sorry? How much confidence do you have in this young man? I've got bundles of confidence in it. That's why, uh, you know, why I, I got involved in managing and promoting him. I think he's an exceptional talent. He's got a long way to go yet, but like... Uh, 
Well, what he's doing at the moment, he's doing well, and I think uh, sometime next year he'll fight for a title, a domestic title, not a world title. Well done tonight. Thank you.